Today I am going to show you how to hide WooCommerce payment gateways conditionally. For example, I am going to show you how to hide payment gateway based on the shipping method. As you saw, I choose courier and couple of them are hidden now. Also, I am going to show you how to hide based on coupon codes and so on. Altogether, 12 simple hacks plus two bonus hacks. And best of yet, I am going to show you how to do it without any fancy plugin. So if you're interested, then jump in. And to make it work, let's go to the dashboard and couple of explanations. First, all the snippets I'm going to show you, you can find the link to those in the description of this video. Second, I'm using the code snippets plugin for adding those snippets to my site, but you can use your child teams, functions PHP file or WP code box plugin, which is also awesome. I have made a video about it. If you're interested, then take a look at the description of this video. There is a link to the overview and there is also a nice 20% discount coupon for you. But today I'm going to use a code snippets plugin, which allows me to add the all sorts of snippets on my site. So go to the plugins, add new and search for code snippets. This one here, install and activate it and then go to the snippets and add new. And first we're going to disable all the payment gateways. Why would you need it, you may ask. Well, maybe you don't want to add any payment gateways for your site because you want to use your site as a some kind of inquiry form. Therefore, you can remove all the payment gateways with a small snippet. Just paste this one here. Choose only run on site front end, save changes and activate. And now if I refresh the page, as you see, there is no payment gateways activated, but I can still place the order. So this was the first hack. Next one, let's hide payment gateways for specific user roles. I'm going to show you what I mean by that. I'm going to deactivate this one here. I'm going to add a new snippet, give it a title and paste this code here. So a couple of things for you to point out. First one. Take a look at the comments on all my snippets. For example, this one here, that means I'm going to add a user role that can use only those payment gateways I would like him or her to use. At the moment, customer can see only direct bank transfer. I will hide PayPal, cash on delivery and check. So I only run on site front end, save changes and activate. Now I'm going to open my site in private view and log in as a customer to see whether it worked. I'm going to add a product to the cart. I'm going to go to the checkout. And as you see, there is only a direct bank transfer. If I would like to activate a PayPal, I'm just going to comment this one out. Once again, save changes, refresh, and there is PayPal. So in a similar way, you can add your own custom gateways here. How to find out what is a gateway name is, make a right click here, choose inspect. And now take a look at this one here. Check for PayPal, it's PayPal. For direct bank transfer, it's BAX. And if you're using third party pay payment gateways in a similar way, you can use those here. You can delete those two rows here if needed. I'm going to leave it as it is because this way it's a bit easier for you to figure out what is what. Now let's take a look how to hide payment gateways for logged out users. That means logged in users are seeing all gateways, but logged out users, some of them will be hidden. I'm going to deactivate this one here. I'm going to add a new snippet. Give it the title, paste the snippet here and a couple of explanations. That means if the user role is customer or administrator, then show all payment gateways. You can add your own user roles here just separate them with comma. But if the user role is something else, and that means also logged out user, then remove direct bank transfer and check payments. As you see, this is a logged in user and the person sees all the payment gateways. But if I save changes and activate this one here, 
I'm going to open up user who is logged out. I'm going to refresh a page. And as you see, only PayPal and cash and delivery is visible. In a similar way, I can remove something else. For example, I'm going to copy this code here, paste it here, and I can remove cash on delivery that is COD. Also, it goes here, COD, save changes, back to the checkout page, refresh, and as you see, cash on delivery is also removed. Simple yet effective, isn't it? Now I'm going to deactivate this one here and move to the next hack. And this time I'm going to hide payment gateway based on product category. Once again, add new snippet, paste this code here, and some explanations. First, on line 6, as you see, there is accessories and music. Those are your product category slugs. Where can you get them? Just go to the product categories and those ones here. Accessories, decor, music, and so on. If you need to add additional ones, just separate them with commas. So what will this uh, rule do? It will hide cash and delivery, PayPal, and check payments if my card contains products from categories accessories or music. I'm going to choose only run on site front end, save changes and activate. I'm going to go to the checkout page. As you see, it contains product from the music category. I'm going to refresh and only direct bank transfer is activated. In a similar way I showed you before, you can add your own third party payment gateways or you can comment out the ones you need to be activated. For example, PayPal at the moment. I'm going to refresh it and there is a PayPal. Now let's take a look how to add the payment gateways if the ship to a different address is selected. At the moment nothing happens, but I would like to remove all but the direct bank transfer if the ship to a different address is selected. So, add a new snippet, paste this one here. Nothing fancy here to configure, only one thing, this one here. That is the only payment gateway that will be shown if the ship to a different address is selected. This time, run snippet everywhere, save changes and activate. Refresh. And let's test it out. I'm gonna choose this one here. And as you see, everything else is removed. If I deselect this one, they will be back. If I would like it to be a COD, for example, that means cash on delivery. Save changes. Refresh. Test. And voila, it works. Now let's take a look at how to remove payment gateways based on shipping classes. I'm going to deactivate this one here. Let's go to the WooCommerce settings, shipping, shipping classes. And as you see, I have a demo class here with a slug demo class. Now I'm going to go to the snippets, add new, give it the title, paste the snippet. And here goes the shipping class slug demo class. Those are the gateways I would like to remove. If I would like to add another one, I'm just going to grab this one here, paste it, rename it. Only run on site front end, save changes and activate. So what will it do? If the card contains product with a demo class, shipping class, PayPal, direct bank transfer and cash and delivery will be removed. Now let's take a look whether I have any product with this shipping class. Let's take a look at this t-shirt with logo here. Shipping, let's add a shipping class demo class, update it, go to the product itself. I'm going to add it to the cart. Go to the checkout page. And as you see, only check payments is activated. If I remove this part here, I'm going to activate the a direct bank transfer also. Boom. Done. And that means I can move to the next hack. Since we already dealt with the shipping classes, now let's take a look how to hide payment gateways based on shipping methods. That means I'm gonna deactivate this one here. And I'm gonna add a new snippet. Give it the title. Paste this snippet here. And now take a look. If the method is flat rate 1 or local pickup 2, then hide PayPal and cash and delivery. 
how you would like to ask how you can find out what goes here flat rate one and local pickup two that's easy just go to the checkout page make a right click on the shipping method itself select inspect and now take a look at this one here flat rate one those are the values here just add those here accordingly add your own payment gateways and nothing else to configure here run on only run on site front end save changes and activate refresh and let's see what happens if i select courier some of those are hidden same happens with a local pickup but expedited delivery all payment gateways are active again and this means i can move to the next snippet and this time i'm going to go to the marketing and coupons and see whether do i have any coupons here yes i have demo 20 and test 20 and so on that means i'm gonna remove some payment gateways only if a specific coupon is used go to the snippets once again add new give it the title paste the snippet and now this one here is your coupon code and those are the payment gateways you're going to remove so if the coupon test 20 is used then i'm going to re remove direct bank transfer and cash and delivery only run on site front end save changes and activate go to the checkout page refresh it enter your code that means test 20 apply the code and done only paypal and check payments is activated i can add another one here just grab this line paste it here enter my payment gateway name save changes refresh and once again it works now this one worked here with a specific coupon but what if i would like to remove payment gateways if any coupon is used that means i have a bunch of coupons here four of those if any of those is used it's easy to do therefore i'm gonna go to the snippets add new give it the title paste the snippet and nothing else to configure except the payment gateways i'm going to remove cash and delivery and i'm going to remove check payments if i need to add another one just grab this code here paste it here add your payment gateway slug and done at the moment i'm gonna remove only those two only run on site front end save changes and activate go to the checkout page i know i'm repeating myself all the time but what can you do let's test it out demo 20 this time apply cu coupon and done amazing how easy it is isn't it next one as you see currently my total is 78 euros but what if i would like to remove some payment gateways if the car total is more than 75 euros for example well let's go to the snippets i'm gonna deactivate this one here add new give it the title paste the snippet and now take a look at this line here if the card total is more than 75 for example pay attention to this one here you can add either is more or is less let's take a look at is more at the moment so if the card total is more than 75 euros i'm going to remove cash and delivery and check payments only run on site front end save changes and activate refresh and only direct bank transfer and paypal is activated i can also remove paypal if needed or add my own third party gateways as shown before let's test out this one here paypal as i said at the moment we're setting the rule if the cart amount is more than 75 but what if we use is less than 75 let's test it out save changes refresh as you see all the payment gateways are there let's remove something from the cart go to the checkout page and it works again almost there only a couple of hacks to go and that means this time i'm gonna remove some payment gateways if the specific product is in the cart for example if the t-shirt with logo is added to the cart i'm gonna remove some of the gateways back to the snippets i'm gonna deactivate this one here add new give it a title paste the snippet 
and now those are the product IDs here. How can you find the product IDs? Let's go to the products, all product. There is a t-shirt with logo. As you see, the ID number here is 31. So I'm going to add 31 here. And maybe also with a beanie with logo, it's 32. So for two products, I'm going to remove PayPal and cash and delivery. Only run on site front end, save changes and activate. Back to the checkout page, refresh. And as you see, PayPal and cash and delivery is removed. But let's test whether it works with the album. I'm going to remove the t-shirt with logo here. Boom, works again. Which means we can conclude this part and move to the next snippet. And next snippet is using the country condition. That means if I choose some country, for example, United States, then I will remove some of the payment gateways here. I'm going to deactivate this one here and once again add new, paste the snippets and now take a look. There are a couple of rules here. For example, if the country is USA, then remove cash and delivery. If you need to remove something else, then just paste this one here and replace the gateway names. I'm going to remove it at the moment. So for USA, I'm going to remove the cash and delivery. But if the countries are Estonia, Finland or Norway, I'm going to remove PayPal and check payments. Only run on site front end, save changes and activate. Back to the checkout page. Let's refresh. United States is activated. And as you see, cash and delivery is removed. Now let's choose Norway. PayPal and check payments are removed. Now let's choose Pakistan, for example. All the payment gateways are back. All this leads us to the two last uh, bonus hacks. And let's start with the first one. I'm going to deactivate this one here. And I'm going to add a new snippet. I'm going to give it the title. Add fee for specific payment gateway. And as the title says, we're going to add a fee if cash on delivery or PayPal as a payment methods are chosen. That means if cash on delivery, you can replace this part here, is selected, then there will be fixed fee two euros. If the PayPal is selected as a payment gateway, there is a percentage fee for 5%, you can change both of those here. You can change the label, handling fee, and nothing else to configure, just save changes and activate. Let's go to the checkout page, refresh it. Now take a look if the direct bank transfer is selected, no fee is added. If the PayPal is selected, there is a 15% fee. And if the cash on delivery is selected, there is a fixed fee. Pay attention that those amounts here are without the taxes. Because as you see, the amount for fee is 2 euros, but 2.4 euros is shown here. That means it adds also a 20% tax here. Now, since we already added a fee, what about discounts for the specific payment gateways? So let's go back to the snippets, deactivate this one here, add a new snippet, give it the title. And the title says that we're going to give a discount for cash and delivery payment gateway. And now take a look. Here you can define your payment method, 5% is discount, and this is a label shown on the site. Nothing else to configure except only run on site front end, save changes and activate, refresh, and cash on delivery is selected. There is a discount for 5%. If the check payments is selected, no discount is added. And that's how it's done. Now, previously I have made a video about how to display a shipping methods conditionally. If you're interested, then take a look at the screen right now, because there is a video I'm talking about. Now, if you find this video helpful, then press thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you have any other questions. Meanwhile, take care.